Hi, this is Scott Whitening Kivowitz, the Chief Community Officer here at Imagely, and today I want to show you the front-end search inside of NextGen Gallery. So the way that you access it is you go ahead and you add the NextGen Gallery block, and then click Add NextGen Gallery. And you'll see that there is a new front-end image search option. Now you can go ahead and click that and choose what gallery that you want to be able to search. You can select one gallery or more than one gallery. You can even go ahead and if you have all your galleries in an album, is you can actually have it search an album. If you have an album created, you can actually have it search that as well. For this example, I'm going to have it search for images inside of one gallery, and I'm going to insert that. And then it is done. That is how you add front-end image search. You just publish that page. Now, if you want to customize the, the features, the settings for that front-end image search, you can go to Customize Display Settings. And you can choose what gallery type you would like it to be displayed as once the search has been done. So I'm going to choose NextGen Pro Tile. Then you can choose if you want filtering enabled. So if you want to show tags as filters, which you'll see in a moment, you can turn that on yes or no. You can have it search for alt text. You can have it search image descriptions. And you can have it search image tags. Then you can say, what kind of search mode would you like? We recommend using natural language because that is what more people will be searching. But you can choose Boolean if you, if you want to do that. Next, you can limit the amount of results that would show up. You can order it by relevancy first or not. And then you can actually change the order to image ID, gallery ID, so on and so on. We're going to go ahead and insert this gallery, update the page, and then we're going to view that page on the front end. Now, this is what it looks like on the front end. This is just the standard uh, search bar and the search images button. We can go ahead and I'm going to type in photo walk. And what you'll see are all of the tags that are related to images that have shown up in this result, which means that this tag would is probably for one either this image or this image. If I was to go ahead and click would, you'll see which image this is actually associated with. And you can see that it's now filtering by any images that come up with the search tag photo walk and with the tag would. And I can go ahead and I can actually select more than one. I can select water as a tag. We can remove wood if we want to just by clicking off of that and you'll see all the ones with water as the tag. We can even clear the selection of the filters and let's say I want sunrise. You can go ahead and see the two sunrise photos. Now again you can turn off the filtering if you don't want the filtering available and the cool part is that this will actually take on the default gallery settings for whatever gallery display type you have specified for the the results, right? So I chose the Pro Tile, which means it's utilizing the default settings of the Pro Tile display, which again, you can customize. Which means that if you have e-commerce turned on by default for that gallery, e-commerce will be working here. If you have proofing turned on for that default for that gallery, proofing will be showing. And of course, the Pro Light Box is viewed beautifully here as well. And you could do image commenting and sharing right from here as well. Finally, it is worth noting that your URL for this will be whatever the page that you put this on, that title, and then the slug, which I'll show you in a second of where to customize the slug. This is the slug that is used for a lot of different purposes, including the Pro Lightbox. It's a very clean interface and with lots of customization of, of how you want your images searched, found, and filtered. So to adjust the slug, you go to Gallery, Other Options, miscellaneous, and then you're going to see permalink slug. This is where you can customize. The default is ng gallery. You can actually customize that to whatever you want. Like everything, this is a display type. So you can actually go ahead and you can adjust the default settings. If you want to use the front end image search a bunch, you can go ahead and adjust the default settings anytime you want, uh, right from gallery settings and then front end image search. We hope you enjoy this new front end image search. If you have any requests or comments about it, please don't hesitate to reach out to support. Thank you for watching.